got ourselves a shark today. This one is a Duo Clean Power Fins, a more modern one. I use the word modern loosely because I think all that's probably really changed is that this one has the blades type brush roll and this very cool, funky looking handle. However, it is suffering from sharkitis in most of the usual ways. So we need that to give this thing a clean out, work out why it's perhaps not working very well indeed. I don't even know what that was. Whatever the blockage was has just moved itself. And get this thing fighting fit once more. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and shark chums. I know there are a few of you. How are you today? Yes, it's another shark, really. Pretty much reminiscent exactly of my old IC160, whatever it was. Let's just take off the hose and wand, and then we can have some more space. This one, because of the updated design, is now ICZ. 300 UK rather than IC. IC will be the old duo clean. ICZ is the power fins. Very nice too. Right. I heard something move when we were doing that intro and yeah, the bond was completely clogged. I've had a quick look at this before I thought, well, we'll do a video on it because we've not had a power fins before, but I think all we've done is really move the blockage somewhere else. I mean, I can't turn it on without the hose, so I think it's still going to be clogged. Oh, the error six, and did you see all the dirt coming out of there? Yeah, she's not a happy bunny. But I don't think our problem now is in this hose or this one, which is good so we can take it apart. We'll have a maybe a closer look at that when it's not throwing errors everywhere. Yeah, we've got to look down here. So, dust cup. It sort of is our problem because look, the shroud's doing what the sharks do and getting all clogged up. We have a leaf. Very nice. In fact, we'll, we'll take the battery out as well to be proper about it. Then, I think we'll have a look at the post motor filter. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Yes, they've not changed a thing about these and I've barely got a month out of mine before it just tried to kill itself with dirt. So that's good. Oh, we didn't lift away the lift away before we took off the bin. Hang on, you have to we'll put the bin back on first. Then we'll lift away because we'll probably need to have a a look at this as well because it's it looks a bit grubby in the usual shark way look the anti i mean that's not hair so technically i cannot say oh look at how bad it is because that is not human hair and that is why these things suck really because if it's there's no hair on there there's just a lot of everything else but we'll get on to that in a minute because there's probably no point in caring too much about that now until we've had a look under here <laughs> the lady did say, yeah, she hasn't really looked after it. Could I give it a service? Uh, yeah. If I was starting this video off early in the morning, so we're going to have to stop it soon as I wash these filters before we can go any further. Holy moly. Look at that. I, I think it is plaster dust. It certainly seems like plaster dust. And yeah, bar that, everything else is pretty much okay. We can now empty the bin into there. We can take off the top and yeah, look, this is what happens. It's all just covered around it and underneath it, the whole shroud is just packed. Solid. This is why you have to pretty much empty them every couple of times you use them. They are just glorified toys. However, luckily, we have a proper vacuum, or 18 off shops, not that broken, Henry, which we can use to fix some of this. Yeah, 
yes, the Victor V9, a machine that costs probably about half of what this does, and bar having the unpopular cable on it, as you'll tell in a second, it's, it's far better in every way, really. We've had him a while now, haven't we? He's still doing fine. Um, where should we start, really? Well, let's clean that up. Fantastic! There we go. This is only really so that we can try it out in a second and see if that error 6 at least disappears. Then it'll all come apart for a good wash. Not come apart, but I'll wash the filters, get everything cleaned and tidy. I, I just need to troubleshoot it a little bit before we do that. But first, let's find some tools to take apart this brush roll and clean out its guns. These have never been turned. <laughs> ever and oh look there is a piece of lego here the lady did say she might she thinks there was a piece in now i think there was a piece in the wand as well but us sticking it onto boost just got rid of it we'll take this off as well which again has probably never been done because otherwise they would have got rid of that and well, again we can quickly give this a tickle And then that should be good enough, really. That'll do anyway for the floor head. Just, just needed that little bit of tidying up before the whole thing pushes the roller out of the way and then snaps the head and then your vacuum is scrapped. Right, now we should be able to put it back together and see how better it works. Hopefully it does. Here we go. Now, hopefully, this shouldn't throw an error and the machine should sound a lot better. Oh, yeah. And if you go on to Max. Oh, yeah. There it is. I mean, these aren't bad when they're working well. I love the form factor. I absolutely love the form fact. They just suffer from being a shark, bless them. Ooh. But I've never used one of the paddle blades before. That feels quite nice. The handle is lovely to hold as well. Compared to the older ones. Okay. I don't hate it, I'll be honest. I'm not a fan of the duo thing because 
you have to roll the head over what you want to pick up, and then it doesn't just pull the dirt towards you. That's doing all right, although we've just lost 10% doing that, so I think we shall for now. Obviously, I haven't cleaned up for a while, and I was quite busy yesterday, so everywhere is a mess. We'll, we'll do another 10%. Oh, hello. There we go. We'll do another 10% to clean this up, and then we'll get on with the actual tidying up of it. Oh, it's nice, this rug. It's gone back up to 100% now. Oh, there you go, 90. Well, that's it. piece of wire now which has got caught somewhere in there well I think that's fine for now that proves that it was just clogged up and blocked up what I'm going to do now is wash the filters basically give all the filters a good old wash and soak get everything wiped down and in the next scene this thing should be looking a fair bit prettier a couple of days later we have our little sharky waiting for these all oh, the filters that washed up really really well didn't put them through the washing machine they just came up with a good old soak and then a good old dry and yeah all's well that ends well so we can put this filter in there i mean that filter should be fine if you wash this one literally every couple of weeks you may have to buy two not its strong bid. This is part of the dust retention system, I think, as is the shark way. So, yeah, I would pop yourself a second set of filters in stock for one of these so that you can wash it regularly. I mean, after a month, my one was disgusting. Ah. And then, that's not on at all, and then we should be good to go. Uh -oh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> we want no errors. We have no errors. All right, suction. Oh, yeah. I think he's fixed, folks. Oh, look at all the dust. Come back in there. Oh, we cleaned all that, for goodness sake. Well, I'm going to go and wipe that back out because that will look like trash to the lady when I tell her that I cleaned it up a little bit. But we can call this done. I'm quite glad we have this in because I actually quite like it. I like this handle to use and as much as I know that those three buttons there are going to fall off and break at some point in this thing's life, the screen is very nice and the power fins are quite aggressive. Indeed. So yeah, nice to have experienced a newer generation of these, which are pretty much exactly the same on the inside, hence why it was an easy save. So tell me what you think of the newer ICZ, you know, whatever this type of machine is called. I quite like them, it's a really nice form factor and about the only one still going, I think, in this sort of upright form factor. But I'm sure that until the next time, I and some other sad shark will see you soon. Bye bye.